Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got issue number 60 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Part Works and we're making the Old Maid's Puzzle Patch, sometimes known as the Bachelorette Patch. To make your Old Maid's Puzzle Patch, you will receive the pink stripe, the coral spot, the yellow spot and the vintage floral. I'm going to mix it up today. Instead of using the vintage floral, I'm going to be using a piece of the floral sprig that I had tucked away. Instead of the yellow spot, I'm going to be using my licensed Peter Rabbit fabric. Instead of the coral spot, I'm going to be using a piece of the blue gingham. So the only fabric I'm using from the original patch will be the pink stripe. To make your old maid's puzzle patch, you'll need templates B, F and C. Like with most of my templates, we've used these for all of our other patches at some stage, so I have them tucked away in my template box. So I've accessed the F template, which we used for the Trafalgar Square, the B template, which we've used for quite a few, and also the C template. But if you don't have them, please photocopy this onto light card and cut them out. It's time to start cutting out all of our patches. There's 22 of them, so it's quite an involved patch. I'm going to start cutting out two of the C templates first using the floral sprig. Our two large triangles have been cut. I'm going to be cutting out the two F template triangle pieces, which would have been the coral spot. I'm using my blue gingham. We're also going to use the F template for our pink stripe. I need to cut out four of these, but be careful of the placement of your template. You'll need two with this orientation and two with this orientation, so the stripes run in the same direction. And now for the labour intensive part of our patch. We would have been using the lemon spot fabric, but I'm using the licensed Peter Rabbit fabric. We're going to need four of these with Peter Rabbit smack bang in the middle. And we're going to need 10 of these with Peter Rabbit smack bang in the middle. Let's get cracking. So it's taken some time and we've got our four Peter Rabbit squares and we've got five of the F template with this orientation and five with this orientation. It's time to put all of our templates away and to set out the formation of our patch. Wow, lots of pieces in this patch. I'm going to set up my machine and then sort it all out. 
So we're all set up and ready to start stitching our patch together. It looks quite complex and very busy, but in fact, it's quite easy. All of these pairs of triangles need to be sewn together first to make a square, which is the first step to making this patch. pairs of triangles have been stitched together to make squares and now you can see that the patch has quarter panels to it. I'm going to start with the bottom panel where we've got the four now squares and sew them all together. I'm then going to do the diagonal quarter panel as well so we've got two of our quarters of our patch sewn together. So we've stitched together two of our quarter panels and we're going to stitch the other two together. We've got a large triangle here so we're going to stitch these three pieces together to make another large triangle. I'm going to stitch these two small triangles onto our now square. We've now got our four quarters sewn together for our patch. We're on the home stretch and we're going to stitch one half together and then the two halves together to assemble the whole patch. I'm going to start with our top half. So we've stitched our two halves together, it's time to pack away our machine and give it a final press. And here we have my old maid's puzzle patch. I am so happy with it. It is the most accurate patch that I've made and it's only taking me 48 patches to get to this stage. All of the points meet up. I hope you had success with your old maid's puzzle patch. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we make our very last 22 centimeter square. We're making the shoe fly patch. Until next time, bye.